Okay, so anyways, okay, now, about 10 minutes left. I want to switch over and switch uh, discussions here to the days of Genesis, okay? The days of Genesis. And I want to go through this uh, fairly rapidly and just hit this because I don't want to belabor this point. But the days of creation account. Seven days of creation. Seven days of creation. When was the earth created? What does the Bible say? I've tried to say before, the Bible doesn't tell us how old the earth is. There are three approaches to the days of Genesis, and I just want to run through those three approaches, okay? Three approaches to the days of Genesis and how long the days of Genesis were and that kind of thing. So we'll do the days of Genesis. Okay, so first of all, some people hold that the days of Genesis are 24-hour literal days. 24-hour days, uh, 24 hours, dawn till dusk, and the evening, 24-hour period. Those are called the literal 24-hour day theory. A lot of the people that hold this will be called young earth creationists. Young Earth creationists will hold that the Earth is about uh, 20,000 years old, something like that, 20, 30, 40, 10,000 years old, okay? So it's young Earth. The Earth is only about 20,000 years old. They, most of the people that are young Earth creationists will hold the actual 24-hour day theory. Basically what they say is that the word yom, the word yom there is the word Hebrew word for day. The word yom means day in Hebrew. And they say that it's defined, actually, in Genesis chapter 1, verse 5, where God says um, in verse 5, and God called the light day and the darkness he called night. So this oscillation between light and darkness, which is a 24-hour day, that God defines yom in verse 5 of Genesis 1. He says it's this oscillation of light and darkness, which is 24-hour period. So it's defined there for us in Genesis, therefore it should be. The Sabbath. How long do you rest on the Sabbath? 24-hour period. When does the Jewish Sabbath start? Or when is, when is the Jewish Sabbath? Saturday. Saturday, okay. The Jews celebrate their Sabbath on Saturday. When does sa the Jewish Shabbat start? Shabbat starts Friday night. The sun goes down. Shabbat starts Friday night. They have the dinner and stuff, Shabbat dinner and stuff. It goes then Saturday. They rest all Saturday. And then when does Shabbat end? No, Saturday night. Okay, it goes from Friday night after the sun goes down to Saturday night when the sun goes down. What do the Jews do Saturday night? Party, okay? So party, you will see at Kikar Zion in Jerusalem, there will be 10,000 Jews swarming the streets, buying all sorts of stuff, eating pizza and stuff like that. Don't order pepperoni pizza, but just pizza and stuff. <laughs> and so anyways, but they'll do... They'll do uh, there's a reason why I said that. Somebody ordered one when I was in the store, and the place, there must have been 200 people there. It went silent, just like that. The guy ordered a pepperoni pizza. I thought, you got it. Anyways, we got out of there. We're obviously Americans, and I knew enough to get out of there when it goes silent like that. But anyways, uh, so all I'm saying is, Shabbat goes down basically Friday night to Saturday night. Saturday night is usually when they go out and have fun, things like that. 20, is that a 24-hour period? Shabbat, Jewish Shabbat, 24-hour period. And remember, God said, by the way, in the Ten Commandments, what? Remember the what? Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. It's a 24-hour period. Remember the Sabbath day. Exodus chapter 20 is the Ten Commandments. So again, 24-hour. This is another argument. Day plus a number. Whenever you have day one, day two, day three, it's usually a 24-hour period. Whenever the word day is used with a number, it's usually a 24-hour period in Scripture. There's about 499 of those references. I checked them out once upon a time and wrote a paper on that. The appearance of age. Um, because the earth is so young, you say, but what the earth looks like, it's really, really old. They would say, you know, okay, Dr. Phillips last night was describing uh, galaxies that were like, you know, 10 billion light years away. That light started out from those galaxies, you know, 10 billion years ago. And now the light we're seeing is it really 10 billion years old. These people would say, young Earth would say, no, 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 it didn't start 10 billion years. God made the light already on its way. Adam was made looking like an adult. So the the earth has an appearance of age. And that's what the scientists are seeing, is God made it with the appearance of age. Does that argument bother anybody? That God made the earth with the appearance of age. Okay? Does God deceive people? That, that's an interesting question. Okay. Now, symbolic age. This is another day, uh, another type of day. And what these people who hold the symbolic day say that the days of Genesis, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days, 
are not meant to be time. They're meant to be a logical or literary framework that Moses is using to describe the creation. It's a logical or literary framework that Moses is using it to describe it. And it could be that God came to Moses and said, and Moses, okay, Moses is sleeping. He's up on the Mount Sinai. God comes to him and says, hey, Moses, wake up. And God shows him, let there be light. And there's light. Moses sees the light. And stuff. Then Moses goes back to sleep. The next day, God shakes him. Moses, wake up and things. And he says, okay, watch this. Now I'm going to separate the waters above and the waters below and things. Watch this. Moses goes back to sleep. Comes away. Third day. Okay, let the land appear. So in other words, it's days that God revealed to Moses. It's not days of the creation, but it's days that God revealed to Moses. Do you see the difference there? So these are revelational, what are called revelational days, that God took seven days to reveal it to Moses, not that it was originally that way. Here's another way to look at it. And this, I've thought this often in this kind of interesting way, that God showed Moses seven pictures and that Moses is describing in the first picture, God said, let there be light. In the second picture, you know, he separates things. And so God, M Moses has shown these pictures visually, like in his head, the prophets had visions and stuff. God's showing him in visions the creation. And so he describes it in the seven days. This, this, is this more of abstract? Is this more abstract approach to creation? Yeah, it's more abstract. The other ones are literal 24 hours. This is more abstract. And this is uh, the symbolic days. Bernard Ram holds this. Uh, some of the more abstract thinkers hold that. Here's what Dr. Perry Phillips holds, and this is called the day-age theory, that each one of the days of Genesis are ages, are periods of long periods of time. That the word yom, the word yom in Hebrew, the word day, has a variety of meanings, has a variety of meanings, and not always 24 hours. For example, if I asked you, is it day or night out, what would you say? I've been in this building so long, I don't know. Okay. All right. If I said, is it day or night, how long is day in that context? If I said day or night, how long is day? Is day less than 24 hours? You say, well, we live in New England in December. It's, uh, the day is only five minutes. So anyway, so day can you know, vary. See, 12 hours. So give me 12 hours a day, 12 hours a night and stuff. And so that, that would be shorter than 24 hours. But what about this? What about the day of the Lord? How long is the day of the Lord? The apocalyptic day of the Lord. Many people, it's described in the book of Revelation, the day of the Lord is a thousand years. So the day of the Lord is a thousand years. And then if you go over to Psalm chapter 90, verse 4, it says, a day is with the Lord is a thousand years. A thousand years is a day. And you guys all know that because you've seen Groundhog's Day. A day is a thousand years goes over the same day every day after day after day. A day is a thousand years. A thousand years is a day. When you're with an infinite God, what's a thousand years? It's nothing. So a day is used in a long period of time. Here's another one, and that's the time of a person's life. If I said to you, in my father's day, how long would that be? Would that be about a 72-year period from 1927 to 2005? Okay. So it was a day, my, in my father's day, that would be in his lifetime. So day means many things. It means many things in English. It means many things in Hebrew. The sun, by the way, the sun was not made till day four. Are the first three days solar days? They can't be solar days because there, there's no solar, okay? There's no sun. The sun's gone. The sun doesn't get put in until day four. So the first three days can't be solar days anyway. Now, by the way, does the day-age theory allow for billions of years? Yes, it does, okay? And then this is probably the strongest argument. There's too much work on day six. Can God do stuff, can God do stuff instantaneously? But man, he forms man out of dust of ground on day six. He then brings all the animals to Adam. Does Adam have to name all the animals? Does that take time to name all the animals in the world? And, then, and by the way, after he names all the animals, Adam has to feel alone. And then, well, okay. <laughs> and, then, and then after that, what happens? On that same sixth day, what happens? Eve is formed out of the rib of his side. Is that a lot to do on one day, 24-hour day? Now, God can do stuff really fast, but as a human being, does it take time? So day six, there's so much. And so what happens is you're left with this kind of a thing. These are the three approaches. Literal days, day one, day two, these are actual 24-hour days. These people are your young earth creationists. The earth is about 20,000 years old. The day age... Does this allow for a 13.7 billion year old universe that science largely agrees with? Yeah. The Big Bang Theory by Perry Phillips I'll have up on the web by Friday or more realistic Fridays tomorrow. 
um, probably by Monday. And then the symbolic days, does this also, symbolic days, does it allow for billions of years? Now the question is, and this is the, the point of all this, how old does the earth, how old does the Bible say the earth is? It doesn't say. Is that conjecture on everybody's part? Well, you have some young earth people, you'll have some young earth people, you'll have some older people. And all I'm saying is, don't fight over these things. The Bible doesn't really say. People hold different opinions. It's okay to hold different opinions on this, okay? Major on the major, minor on the minors. The date of the earth, we don't know. Scripture doesn't say. So, take care. We'll see you Tuesday.